Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd habita fillah All of us are on a quest for the haq We're all on a quest for the truth And the truth requires that you actually make a ruhna That you actually take a journey a journey with your heart and a journey with your mind back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that you're searching for the truth, that you're active, you're actively engaged in trying to find out what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you personally, because it's a personal journey. And that journey requires that we're steadfast along the way and that we have an open heart and an open mind. We're accepting. And that we keep one primary, primary goal in mind. And that is to attain the truth sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that means going back to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Allah Ta'ala says or clarifies for us that the purpose of life, of this existence is to worship Him and Him alone. Tabarakwa Ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَ وَالْإِنسِ except for the purpose of worshipping me. So when you're on your quest and you find confusion, then you also have to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it should be a continual going back to Allah azza wa jal, continually act, uh, asking Him subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a dua hu ibadah, that dua, supplication is worship. And as we say, when we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ It's you alone we worship, and it's, a you, it's you alone who we seek uh, assistance. So if you're seeking truly to find the truth, which group is correct, which way is correct, am I on the right path, am I doing the right things in my life, no doubt that if you have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're constantly working on purifying yourself and purifying and, 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 and trying to achieve ikhlas lillah because it's not something you just get one time it's a constant it's a constant journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we become weak, iman fluctuates sometimes you're strong, sometimes you're weak in faith sometimes life things in life become uh, life is full of obstacles but things can deter you from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and deter you from your journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and right guidance that hidayah and so that's why it's important habita fillah to strive your best to be firm upon your religion by consulting your heart, consulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and reading the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often, engaging with the, the Quran, and engaging with the Sunnah of the Prophet. Sallallahu because the further that you get from the divine sources, the easier it is to be astray and to be caught up in this worldly life, to, to, to be distracted 
to be deterred, to become confused. And the more you listen to confusion in the people of confusion, then obviously we know what the end result of that is, is confusion and perhaps bid'ah and perhaps sin. So that's why I always advise no doubt to listen to Ahlul Sunnah and not to compromise that principle because other than that and even sometimes the youth of Ahlul Sunnah or sometimes people who are not firmly grounded in knowledge or people who may be grounded in knowledge but might make a mistake. One mistake can cause someone to go far astray as far as coming up with new principles and kawa'id and understandings in the religion. So it's imperative, Ahabita Billah, that we strive our best, consulting our heart, consulting your Lord, seeking His guidance, His favor, and His forgiveness and His mercy. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His guidance, His forgiveness, and His mercy. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with habad, and strengthen us in those things that please Him and protect us from those things which displease Him. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم